beautiful Zion that dwelleth with the daughter of Babylon. For thus saith Yahweh of hosts, and for the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. Shalom, brothers and sisters. I'm Brother Jonas, and the title of this video is America's Last Summer 2020. This is America's last summer. Second Ezra 11 verse 1 Then saw I a dream, and behold, there came up from the sea an eagle, which had twelve feathered wings and three heads. America is one of those heads. A little more on that as we go. This is your summer to remember. Shutdowns and masks. The new normal as the talking heads state. You holding on to the false hope of getting back to the way things were. Uh-uh, never again. Those days are gone forever. Second Ezra 11 verse 4 But her heads were at rest. The head in the mist was greater than the other, yet rested it with the residue. That head in the mist or middle is America and was greater than the other, but it rested until it was time for her to rise as a nation and rule over the earth. Now America, or the eagle head in the mist, is at her end. Verse 29, And when they so thought, behold, there await one of the heads that were at rest, namely it that was in the mist, for that was greater than the two other heads. America awakened or was born in 1776. 2 Ezra 11 verse 5 Moreover I beheld, and lo, the eagle flew with her feathers and reigned upon the earth, and over them that dwelt therein. After World War II, America's might was clear, and the nations followed her, and broke under her will. Verse 6, And I saw that all things under heaven were subject unto her, and no man spake against her, no, not one creature upon earth. Today, in modern times, America dictate policy to the nations, and cause them to bend with her trade and military might. Verse 32, but this head put the whole earth in fear and bear rule in it over all those that dwelt upon the earth with much oppression. And it had the governance of the world more than all the wings that had been. America, mystery, Babylon the Great, the whore that rides the beast or control the European Union at this present time, America will fall in the spring of 2021, and the eagle head in the mist will be no more. See my video, Edom the Three-Headed Eagle. America will be the first Edomite nation to fall, and she will be stoned to death by the Most High with meteorites and brimstone for her fornication, and she will be burned with nuclear fire by her ancient friends for hate's sake. America will not stand after the day of destruction like you see in the movies. You will witness the last summer, the last autumn, the last winter, and destruction in the spring of 2021. Verse 33, And after this I beheld, and lo, that head that was in the mist suddenly appeared no more, like as the wings. America will suddenly appear no more in the spring of 2021 after her destruction in one day. You may say, Brother Jonas, how do you know this? And I say, Brother, how is it you don't know? Well, this is how I know. A heavenly sign that the Most High will give us. As a matter of fact, he has already gave it to us. 
to signify the last days, the 70th week of Daniel, the last seven years before we enter into the kingdom of heaven right here on earth. Revelations 12 verse 1. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. This sign took place September 23rd, 2017, and most of our people had no clue because they are not watching. This sign is metaphorical about what is really happening in space. The Most High's wrath entering into our solar system, which is the Nemesis star system, also known as Hercobulus, and is about to throw down on the nations with power and glory. The modern world has only seen in movies. Verse 2. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. You see in the chart that Jupiter, the god planet, which represents Yahweh Shai in this instance, was retrograde or moving back and forth in Virgo for nine months like a pregnancy. The woman clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars. Now, Jupiter actually did not move back and forth. We know that Jupiter rotates around the sun. But the way that it was situated and the way that it looked as the earth moved around the sun in this particular time gave the appearance of Jupiter moving back and forth. But the entire idea is that Jupiter was in Virgo, the female, for nine months, the length of a pregnancy. So I hope you can see this. Verse 3, And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. The great red dragon here in these scriptures are talking about the nemesis star system. All these are heavenly signs and are not talking about Satan yet. Satan comes later. But these signs are for us to realize that we are in the last days. Verse 4, And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. These are meteorites that will destroy America and devastate the world, and did cast them to the earth. The tale that this is speaking of is the debris field that precedes Nemesis and followed behind Nemesis for millions and millions of miles long and millions of miles wide. It is enormous. After this and the war in heaven, Satan or the dragon would be ready to go after the one third of Israel that awakens with the pouring out of the Most High's Holy Spirit in Revelations A5. See my video, Birth of a Nation, Israel, 2021. So, all you patriots of America, you lovers of this world, enjoy America's last summer. Get that barbecue done. Go swimming. Hit the beaches. Get what little travel in you can. Because the prophet Isaiah says, Isaiah 63, verse 4. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. The Most High himself has been waiting for this very time to show you, Israel, how much he loves you. The nations, especially America, has put their hands on Yahweh's children, and our Heavenly Father don't play that. The nations especially America, have touched the apple of his eye. And there is a price to be paid. Revelations 18, verse 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich 
through the abundance of her delicacies. The nations of the world have gotten rich following after America and her ways. They all desire to be like her and will also taste the wrath that is laid out for her. They will drink from the same cup. Verse 7. How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. America in her short life have lived deliciously on the blood of the saints of the Most High. She sit proudly as a queen and says, She is no widow and will see no sorrow. She declares she will stand in the day of Yahweh's wrath as a challenge against the Most High. Verse 8 Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord Almighty who judgeth her. There will be small signs leading up to America's destruction as we go through her last summer and seasons. A meteor here and a meteor there. Like the early days of a woman's birth pains, it will begin slowly. It will become clear to the people of this world when the meteors rip through a major city, then they will know that time is here. Then in one day, death, mourning, and famine, and America shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord Almighty who judges her. Verse 9, And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. The nations who have gotten rich and drunk from her lies will be in shock when they see America burning and the power of her might going up in smoke. Verse 10. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. The nations are astonished and the nations will be astonished that in one hour such might and power could be utterly destroyed. 245 years in the making, the eagle head in the mist is gone in one hour. The global bully has been brought down with one blow, like David against Goliath. Verse 11, And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise any more. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thy in wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and slaves, and slaves, and souls of men. The nations weep, although they are glad to see the global bully gone. The global economic system has been seriously disrupted, and the Babylonian system will be in chaos. Verse 21, And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. And shall be found no more at all. A stone was thrown by an angel in reference to America, being thrown down with violence, Violence of a great meteor storm, brimstone, and nuclear fire. Afterwards, America would just be a memory of smoke and ashes, a prelude to the lake of fire. Verse 23. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, 
and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. America, by her witchcraft, her sorceries, her lies, her politics, her false religion, were all nations deceived. And with no breath left in her, the light of a candle shall shine no more, and the voices of people marrying will exist no more. Verse 24. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. In this land of America, this great city, which is Mystery Babylon the Great, was found the blood of prophets, which are the Israelites, and the blood of saints, which are the Israelites, and of all that were slain upon the earth. As you enjoy America's last summer and the fall and winter to follow, know that the war in heaven will also take place in the spring of 2021 to begin America's destruction. No one will be able to hide in space. No one will escape the wrath that is to come. Isaiah 34, verse 4. And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down, as the leaf falleth off from the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. This is talking about Revelations 12, verse 7 through 9, the war in heaven, when Satan and his angels are cast out and down to the earth. Verse 5, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea and upon the people of my curse to judgment. It shall come down upon Idumea, which is Edom, and upon the people of my curse to which is Edom, to judgment. Immediately after the war in heaven will come America's destruction. The Most High Sword will be bathed in the war in heaven first, defeating Satan and his angels. Then it will come down to Idumea, which is Edom, which is America, which is controlled by Edomites. Idumea, or Edom, or Edomites, are all the so-called white people controlling the nations. Remember, everyone that looks white is not white, and everyone that looks black is not black. Don't search out the wheat and the tars. Just preach, my brothers. Verse 6. The sword of Yahweh is filled with blood. It is made fat with the fatness, and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For Yahweh hath a sacrifice in Basra, and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. The land or lands of Idumea are all over the world. America, Europe, Canada, Russia, Australia, New Zealand, and wherever else so-called white people are in control ruling countries. The Most High have a sacrifice and a great slaughter for them, starting with America, the eagle in the mist, in the spring of 2021. Isaiah 34, verse 7. And the unicorns shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. For it is the day of Yahweh's vengeance, and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. Many of you don't want to believe that the Time of Yahweh's vengeance is here. No, y'all are loving it too good in this world. The time of recompenses for the controversy of Zion, for all the things that the nations have done to us, especially Edom. These are the times we have been waiting for. For thousands of years, the heel of Esau being removed off our necks by the hand of Jacob so we can breathe. Verse 9, And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become burning pitch. America will become a burning hell on earth. 
Verse 10. It shall not be quenched day nor night. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. From generation to generation it shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. America shall be as the lake of fire. This summer of 2020 is America's last summer. At least it's the last summer you will enjoy of this land. And if you don't come out of this world and repent and turn to the Most High and have faith by keeping His commandments, this will be the last summer you ever enjoy. Brothers and sisters, America will fall in 2021. The question is, will you fall with her? I pray you hear Yahweh this day, Israel. Peace. And remember, tick tock. Thank <laughs> you.